And I'm back. It's been four days, I think, since the last upload. But I'm back in my Patriots jersey, which you will probably never see me wear again. I wore it because I have nothing else except for this Patriots jacket, which don't fit no more. And I got this Cowboys hat, which don't can't believe I wore it for this long already. But yeah, so NFL predictions. I'm going to be doing this week by week, hopefully. And, um... Yeah, that let's just get into it. So to start off the year tomorrow night, we have Houston at Kansas City. And um I have Kansas City winning. They're just so much better than Houston is, especially this year without DeAndre Hopkins. And the Kansas City just hasn't lost anybody, so I Kansas City's just gonna they're just gonna win. Uh then starting off the Sunday games, we have the Jets at Bills and um it's the similar thing to a lesser extent because they aren't as good as Kansas City and Houston, but the Bills are just better than the Jets. Like, and then at home, Bills are gonna win. Um, that's about that's about all I got. Um, then going to probably the most entertaining game of at least these uh, these first set of games: uh, Eagles, or not Eagles, Packers at Vikings which could very easily go either way, but I have the Packers winning this solely because of Aaron Rodgers. Um, I was I was torn for quite a bit, but the Packers, I think, are just a tad bit better than the Vikings. Um, so then on to the, one of the least entertaining games, Philly at Washington. I mean, first of all, it's Washington. Not entertaining. Not good. And then playing the Eagles... Eagles are just good. I, I don't know how to explain it. They're just good. And Washington not going to win. Then Browns at Ravens. Um, this is probably where I see the more, most upset picks. Um, with the Browns winning. But I have the Ravens. Ravens are going to win. Lamar's just too good for the Browns. Then Colts at Jaguars. Um, Colts again. Uh, Phil Rivers' first game with the Colts, he's going to start off 1-0. and The Jaguars just... Are, are, the Jaguars right now are probably worse than Alabama and Clemson. I just, it's sad, but probably true. Then Raiders at Panthers. Um, another not, two good, not good teams again. But at least they're kind of even. And um, I have the Panthers winning just because it's in Carolina. I like Matt Rule as a coach. And I hope he can do great things in Carolina, so I have him winning this game. Uh, then Bears at Lions, which again, not the greatest of teams, uh, but again, even. And I have the Lions winning. Um, I love Matthew Stafford. I love Matt Patricia. And I, at, at home, I, have, I just think the Lions are going to win this game, do fairly well this entire season. Um, then probably the second most entertaining game of these early slate games Seahawks at Falcons. I have the Seahawks winning. I really want it to be close. I want Atlanta to do well again. Um, but I have the Seahawks winning this game. Then the last... Well, they all start at the same time. But the last uh, early game, Dolphins at Patriots. I have the Patriots winning. The Dolphins just aren't there yet. I, I don't care what you say. They're, the Dolphins aren't there yet, especially in New England, that it's just not going to happen. So then on to the later games, the mid-games, all th four of them, no, all three of them. Uh, we have Chargers at Bengals, the least entertaining game. Um, Chargers going to win, Bengals, same thing with the Dolphins, aren't quite there yet. A lot of potential, a lot of uh, f uh, firepower on offense, but their defense and their O-line just not there and Tyrod Taylor is going to lead the Chargers to a Week One win. Then one, these next two games are two games I'm very intrigued in, as should be everybody. Um, the first one is Cardinals at 49ers, a huge NFC West battle. I'm very high on the Cardinals this year. Um, I think DeAndre Hopkins is going to fit in beautifully with Cliff Kingsbury. Won't be great for fantasy, but will be great for the Arizona Cardinals. But I do have him losing to the 49ers. Um, I don't think the 49ers will be as good as last year. And when these two teams play in Arizona, my money's on Arizona. But um, I have the 49ers winning this one. 
than the game everybody wants to watch. Buccaneers at Saints. And again, it, it's it's a coin flip, but I'm going to go with the more experienced team, the more chemistry. I'm going with New Orleans, and it's in, it's in the Superdome. So I'm going with New Orleans to beat the Buccaneers week one. Then finally, the Sunday night game. Who else but the Dallas Cowboys? They will be playing in Los Angeles against the Rams. And I do have the Cowboys winning this year. Uh, not this not this year, this week. Um, I have them winning this week against the Rams. It'll be a very close game, a very fun game to watch. But I think the Rams have gone, over, gone under a little bit too much change, and the Cowboys have just gotten better. They've also gone under some change with Mike McCarthy. But um, I think they're just they're too good not to win this game. Then on to the two Monday night games. We have the Steelers at the Giants. One of the most uneven games since um, since the Colts and Jaguars, really. But um, Steelers are just going to roll over the Giants. It, I don't even think it's going to be too close. I have the Steelers having an amazing year, first of all, and then against the Giants team, who I really don't like. Um, not that I have any distaste towards them, but I don't like them for this year. Daniel Jones is going to take a step back, so I have the Steelers winning. And then Titans at Broncos. I originally had Denver winning. It's in Denver. Um, very good defense. And then I saw Von Miller was out the entire year. It is it is one man, but that's an extremely talented one man. And it is enough to sway me in the Titans' favor. I have him winning this game. So now, finally, um, if you are a betting person, I am not yet. But um, some interesting spreads for this are the Chiefs are um, nine-point favorites. I have them winning by more than that. Uh, Patriots, six and a half. I have them winning by more than a touchdown. Same with the Bills, six and a half. I have them winning by more than a touchdown. Um, the Packers are um, three-point underdogs. I have them winning. So that's one. But the two that should be the easiest bets to make are the Philadelphia Eagles are only six-point favorites against the Washington football team. The Washington football team is only six-point underdogs against the defending NFC East champions. That's an easy bet for me if I were to bet. And then the final one on Monday night, Pittsburgh versus the Giants. Five and a half points. That's... <laughs> That's too good for if that'd be too good for me to pass up on, but um yeah Steelers should win by at least double digits. So yeah, so that does it for week one. Um, hopefully, in seven days, there'll be another one with updated um well not updated because it's already set, but um with week two predictions. Um, that's all I got except for go Patriots. Adios.